All right, round two. Uh, we have a low curve, but it's not that low. So we need to mulligan. We are on the draw. Yes. Uh, this is fine. Not to say hi to my last opponent. Very sad. Dead. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter anymore. So he hasn't done anything yet, so we'll just be as aggressive as we can. So he might be in the giant deck. That's an interesting card. So he's saying I don't need to draw any more lands, which is fine. Uh, we are going to need to draw more lands. In fact, it might be correct for us to do is just do a land cycle, so we can get something to start tapping these guys down. I think that's going to be more important than trying to be aggressive with ammo seekers. I think I overrated this card. It's fine, but it's not as good as I thought it was. Um, so I'll just basically cycle at the end of his turn. Ooh. I know it's not uh, it's not a money mythic rare, but it's damn good and limited. Like we do actually have some options here because we can equip the bone splitter and then leave up test of faith and that's something we could do alternatively we can just search up for one of the tappers I think that's what we're going to do, and then, yeah. So, yeah, might even uh, potentially chump and do that. He's got that, yeah, he's on the giant plan. That's why I didn't need to draw any more lands. I think we're okay to take three. Okay. I really wish we'd gotten some of the uh, pacifisms. Rebel pacifisms, but so it goes. Great heart. So we should hit a land there because we do need to leave up one mana to tap down one of these guys. I also want to leave up Test of Faith. We do actually have a one drop we can sneak in there, but then it kind of looks like we're leaving something up. So... Um, maybe we just play Blight Speaker 
No, we're getting dangerous if he's got the uh, He's got the giant that deals damage to each, each all of my creatures equal to the number of giants he has. He just wipes my board. Um, maybe we just play Avian Changeling. And leave up one mana for a tap. So that is a giant. We can put Home Splitter on it. No, uh, let's let's just play uh, Bone Splitter. What's it doing? And equip. And then pass the turn. He's got in hand rice, rice, Ryusu. Yeah, he had all the lands he needed, so that's an issue for sure. Okay. Oh crap, I hit the wrong one. Oh well, I take one extra point of damage. Could be significant. Yes, it is significant that we are not getting any more lands. I was going to run out the changeling and equip, but we need to leave up mana from the trapper. So I guess we'll just throw out the, the scout and equip. That's the turn back. Surprise. Thundering Giant. Okay. Boy, he have had a handful of lands in this guy. Yeah, because he hasn't. He had seven. He kept six lands in the Countryside Crusher? Or Nerf, or, or something like that. Yeah, and he's still on down in silence. Alright. Tap that guy. Oh, well, this is not not good. Really could use some land. I guess we just play the changeling. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just play the changeling. Undercloud shaman. All right, just wipe my board. I kind of like the giant deck, especially if you get this guy and this guy. It's pretty good. I think I have probably one of the better matchups against him. So, just because I can, I can be super quick against him, probably. Good news is the changeling is going to survive this. Um, 
chump or not to chump, that is the question. Whether it is nobler to suffer the sinks and slings of outrageous top decks. So if I chump, I don't think I can win if I chump. I have three creatures that are coming at me. Yeah. I don't know that I can win if I don't chump either, but death denied, not by need. So I just I just have to run out uh, Kithkin Greatheart and Light Speaker and go into double chump mode. Finally got a creature in there. Did he? When did the glacial ray get get revealed? Oh, he's got that too. Okay, yeah, he wins. You win, my friend. You win. in there. I think maybe the Court Humunculus and then take out this. Although actually forcing him to discard is pretty good. We just don't have a lot of fairies we can really do it with. And the one power guy is probably not good enough. Um, Yeah, I think we just try and get a little bit more aggro with the Humunculus. Looks like he's unlikely to be playing anything the first couple turns. So, or it's likely that he won't. So, all right, we'll send him like that. And we play first, and we'll mulligan first. Yep. Yeah. And this is much better. back to us. No. Lightning Helix. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Alright, no more. Drew too much land and our tutor got killed. It's not looking good for us this game. I think we got kind of unlucky. And it's not over, but it is not looking good for us. I'll tell you that. guy down but it's not looking good and this guy just stumbled pretty badly and doesn't look like he's doing that we have more changelings well that gives us a path to victory, potentially. Uh, so we can flicker this guy out and get him for two. spot here, but see if we can get some stuff going. That's not good. That's going to... I don't know if he's going to use that to kill the Flicker Wisp or the Tapper. Either one is fine. Kind of 
of glad he's deciding to go aggro. But okay, I think the only way we win is if we go aggro. And he's killing off the tapper. It's probably the correct move. It's the most more flexible. So we attack, he goes to 18. We can keep the two great hearts back. Then he can come at us with eight. He's got two cards left in hand. Oh, and they can give him first strike, so double blocking is not a thing. Arr. Test of faith would be nice. Super nice. Um, I guess we just have to try and play the long game and stay back, and then now we will trade off Flicker Wiz. Yeah, not where we'd want to be. If this guy was still around, we'd be in much better shape. But. Like red in this format has just a ton of, of burn spells. Throwing lightning helix too. Pretty nice. Uh, uh oh. Okay, that one. We'll double block him. Like, I don't think we have a choice about this. We just have to try to survive. It's not a good spot anyway, but like we just can't sit there and take um, 12. Yeah, we just have to do it. Well, that would have been nice last turn. Yep, no, I don't think we're winning this game. I don't think we're gonna win. Yeah, that lightning helix on the scout was super crucial. gotten lucky there. I don't think it was a horrible matchup for us. His deck's pretty good. He's got the Giants, some changelings going on. I think the Giant deck is pretty good, potentially. Um, so, yeah. Alright, I'll see you in uh, round three, Swissing it up.